This is another episode of Stand Up Comedy, your host and MC, celebrating 40 plus years on the fringe of show business. Stories, interviews, and comedy sets from the famous and not so famous. Here's your host and MC, Scott Edwards. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another bonus episode of An Audience of One. And this week, man, put on your seatbelts. We have something extra special. All the way from Bali, ladies and gentlemen, it's my good friend, Yakov Shmirnov. Yeah. Yakov, uh, it's so great to chat with you. I heard that you have uh, a story you might want to share with the audience. Absolutely. It's a story that most people have not heard. It was, it happened after the uh, Soviet, well, after I, I wanted to get out of the Soviet Union. And uh, at that time, Jimmy Carter uh, made the deal with the uh, Soviet government because they needed food. They were starving. So he said, if you uh, allow some people out of the country, we'll give you some grain. And so my parents and I were exchanged for some tons of wheat. So, <laughs> yeah. So every time now I see a Wonder Bread truck, I salute. And then, <laughs> and then I, and then I wonder. So, so we, so, <laughs> so, but, but here's what the communists didn't want people to leave. They wanted, they want to show the world that we're the best country on the planet. Nobody wants to leave. So they made it very difficult. So what they what they would do, they said, we'll let you go, but we we'll only exchange you $100 uh, uh, and you need to survive all this time. And American government didn't allow you in right away. They needed to check you out. So they wanted, they didn't want anybody with bad records. So they didn't want uh, communist party records, no criminal records. No Barry Manilow records, no record, no bad records. <laughs> so, 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 so we're looking for like how can we survive? And we knew that they're going to send us to like Italy or some other. Or, so to wait until Americans do the due diligence out there. And so, but for the grapevine, we hear that there is one item that there is no restriction on how many you can take with you. And they're very cheap in the Soviet Union, very expensive in Italy. And it was condoms. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I, I'm not joking. This was true. I did not condoms know that. Were, yeah, condoms were one penny in the Soviet Union and one dollar in Italy. Talk about bang for your buck. <laughs> 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 Or buck for your bang, right? <laughs> so, so we go and we buy as many condoms as we can, and put them all in one suitcase. My mother, <laughs> because we figured nobody's going to ask her, "Are you a working woman?" You know. <laughs> so, so we get to and they let us through, and we got all these condoms um, to Italy, and we went on the uh, uh, open market and we set, set the suitcase down, opened it and the condom store was erected <laughs> right there, <laughs> right there, right there on the spot. And my parents who never seen capitalism before became like really good at selling this stuff. And so my dad became in charge of advertising <laughs> He was making balloon animals out of those things, <laughs> and they, and they all looked like snakes. And my mom, <laughs> my, my mom, this this Russian lady who is like she translated a phrase from it uh, from uh, Russian to Italian, and and she would uh, see people like somebody who uh, could be a potential buyer, and she would hold up those condoms point at me and say, if you don't want to have a kid like this, buy a condom. <laughs> and people would just crack up with the little the 50, 60-year-old lady, or whatever she was at that time, doing this the shtick. And they would crack up and they would buy two or three. And so that 
you know, it, it's ironic that condoms supposed to um, prevent life from happening. It saved our lives. Oh, that and is so, so funny. Yeah. yeah. Oh. That's, uh, that's true story. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. And, and uh, yeah. I, I've known you all these years, and I did not know that story. You are the condom yeah. king. <laughs> yes, condom. Went from condoms to condominium. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> well, thank you, Yakov Smirnov, for sharing a little bit of funny with my audience and our special bonus show, An Audience of One. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Yakov Smirnov. Yeah. Thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you on Sunday for another new show. Bye. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Stand Up Comedy, your host and MC. For information on the show, merchandise, and our sponsors, or to send comments to Scott, visit our website at www.standupyourhostandmc.com. Look for more episodes soon and enjoy the world of stand-up comedy. Visit a comedy showroom near you.